Thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus once again? Thank you. You may be seated. Let me acknowledge the presence of our viewers who are watching us from different areas. We appreciate your support and your love. And I want to encourage you to keep on supporting this platform. Since we have been given a certificate to learn a TV station, we need your support. Without you watching this channel, this channel will be useless, this channel will be meaningless, and waste of money and time. But through you who are watching us, we thank God that you have been there for us, not because you have been given this document, but because you love Jesus. So I want to encourage you that continue. Even you are inside the auditorium. Please, encourage the people that you know whenever you see that the service is on. Tell them to join us through whatever platform, whether Facebook, YouTube, because we want more people for us to learn a TV station. It is not the show of a man like me. It is the TV to reach the unreachable, to touch the masses. Next year, we are going to open this TV station. Next year is like tomorrow because this is December. The document is here with us. So encourage your brother, your sister, the one who loves Jesus, that please watch this channel. Jesus is going to bless you. So keep on sharing. Remind your brother, remind your sister. The more number that are watching this channel, that is the strength of this station. Amen. So I'm encouraging you too, who are inside the church, that when you see that the service is on, send a reminder, even before, send a reminder to your brother, whether your brother is in China, Canada, UK, America. We have a lot of people who are outside Zambia. Let them know this. Before we even start learning a TV station, let them know this so that their support will make a difference. Amen. So please, I'm encouraging. For this one, I'll keep on talking and talking about this issue because it is not something that you can, you know, do alone. Before we launch this TV station, we need more support. The channel must be popular. So it is you people can make our channel to be what? Popular. Amen. I hope that one is clear. We have been given the certificate to learn a TV station. So next year we are opening the TV station here. So this TV station cannot be, you know, anything without people watching it. So remind your brother, your sister to join us. Praise the Lord. We are opening a TV station, not this Facebook or YouTube. The TV station, the Promise TV that you know. We are opening it next year. So for us to learn this TV station, people must watch this TV station. It is not something that you can say, no, it's for me and my children. Ah, who is going to watch you? It is people to support you. If the number is going down, if the network provider will remove you from their searchlight, Jesus is here. And he's going to promote this channel higher than, you know, we expect. Praise the Lord. Thank you. I thought I should, you know, talk about this. And I'll keep on talking about it. 
that whenever we arrive like this one, you engage your brother, you engage your sister, everyone to say, please, can you connect yourself to this channel? There, you are promoting this TV station. Hallelujah. So next year, we have our own TV station here, running by you. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Mark chapter 6. I'll be jumping because of time, but nevertheless, when you go home, you can go and read all of it. Mark chapter 6, verse, we start from verse, um, <clears throat> verse 7. Yes. Calling the twelve to him, he began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over impure spirit. Eight. These were his instructions. Take nothing for the journey except a staff. No blade, no bag, no money in your belt. Nine, wear sanders, but not an extra shirt. Let me jump from there to verse 12. They went out and preached that people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. I want to start with verse uh, 12. More especially where the Bible talks about oil. I have been hearing, you know, messages talking about oil, meaning preaching against what? Oil. That why uh, must you get oil? Instead of you calling the name Jesus, you can pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, Jesus can heal you. You are using oil. Why are you not using uh, the name Jesus? Listen to these people of God. The Bible says that they went out, preached that people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them all. There are so many scriptures that talks about oil. The only problem is that if it is not Jesus who is behind what you are doing, then there, there is a problem. But as long as you are under his instruction, whatever you be doing, it is the work of Jesus in your life. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in verse 7, calling the 12 to him, he gave them and sent them out two by two. Gave them authority over impure spirit. There is no way you can go outside in the name of Jesus without Jesus accompanying you. Are you there, people of God? Because the real enemy that you'll be facing when you are preaching the word of God, it is not your fellow human being. It is the invisible nature that is evil spirit who are misleading the masses, who are making people to treat the word of God like a second-hand cloth. Understanding English does not mean you have the Holy Spirit. There are so many people who are talking about Christianity without the Holy Spirit. Jesus did not send his people without his power. Praise the Lord. He gave them authority over impure spirit. That is power. Are you there? Hmm. These were his instruction. Take nothing for the journey except a staff. You can think about this staff. What kind of staff Jesus was talking about? You know, when you are sent by Jesus in his mission, yes, you need food to eat. You need clothes to wear. You need a shelter. But your focus must be always on him. You should not worry about what you are going to eat or where you are going to sleep. Jesus is there to provide for you. Because if these people were to be like master, 
you are telling us to go. Where is the bed? Where is the food? Where is, he said, take nothing on this journey. You know, when you are sent by Jesus, whether you are a poor person or you are a rich person or you are educated or non-educated, don't trust anything that came from your power. Don't trust anything that came from your ways and your means. Because that can make you to be stubborn. That I'm using my own resources. I am using my own education. There you become the enemy of your master. The one who called you and sent you. This is why Jesus said, take nothing except stuff. And he gave them authority over the impure spirit. When you are preaching like this one, the spirit of God must take over everything. Because spiritually, no one can see that there is a harrow, you know, which is coming to attack me. No one. Not until you start feeling what? Pain. This is why you cannot preach his word without you taking authority over the place where you are. The spirit of God is in control. If you see, when you see a president coming to, you know, a, a meeting or anywhere where people have gathered, praise the Lord. You see soldiers all over that place. You see police officers with guns. Meaning, the security wings are now in control over that place and the president is safe to talk to his people. If the president is not safe, just one word from the security to say, Your Excellency, leave this place. He will not say, No, what are you talking about? No, immediately leave this place. He will leave. Because if he said no, he's going to die there. They know the danger. This is why the Holy Spirit is always in control. When you are standing like this, the Spirit of God is in control. Whatever evil things, anyone can come with a weapon. But the spirit of God cannot allow you to use that weapon. Are you there? Jesus gave them authority over impure what? Spirit. And he said, take nothing for the journey except a staff. No blade, no bag, no money in your belts. And he said, wear sandals. But... My, my standing is here in verse 12. They went out and preached that people should repent. No one can repent without receiving the power of God. There, you know, how many times have you confessed that I've stopped this one? Tomorrow, you are back to the same life. How never masturbate. Just that night, you will not masturbate. Tomorrow, you are masturbating. Why? The spirit is inside you. It is not your mouth that makes you to masturbate. It is the spirit inside. This is why when you preach, the power to cast out demons will be the next thing. Because the word of God cannot settle in your heart where snakes is hiding. They cast out many demons and anointed the sick people with oil and healed them all. Simply means, even today, I can use oil to pray for you. It is Jesus' work. Without touching you, I can give you oil. Mm. Swallow it. Or let me rub it on your forehead. You start vomiting and manifesting. Is it the work of a man like me? No. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. What you cannot understand, you should not, you know, demonize what you cannot understand. You can use what you know and what you understand. Anything that you cannot understand. You may end up committing sin against God. God can use anything. Are you there, people of God? God can do what? God can use anything. God can use water. Before now, no one was using water to pray for people. Except Prophet B. Joshua, blessed memory. He is the one who introduced this uh, 
anointing water today because people have seen that oh we thought it is not water water can everyone is now using what water he was not listening to your what you know your criticism because the spirit of god was involved he was more focused on his calling than what people are saying about his life even today people are still using this man's life even in his absence why they discovered the truth so i want you to know this it is not what you believe as a human being that you are capable of doing no but what you receive from God Almighty. Praise the Lord. If my brother here receive Bible from me and there's a spirit inside his heart, he will say, thank you, Jesus. In my presence, when reaching home, he will throw the Bible away and you start what? Smoking. They did not preach the word only. They casted out demons. What can influence this body? It is the evil spirit. Sin is not the property of Jesus. Sin is the property of Satan. As long as you are living in sin, you are calling Satan as property. He can use you at any time. He controls your life, both spiritually and physically. They cast out demons and anointed the sick with what? Hmm? With oil. It's the word of God. But if someone is telling me that why using oil, not the name Jesus. Why did they use oil? And it was Jesus who sent them. Not even now where we are just, you know, talking about Jesus, whom we cannot see physically. To them, it was a one-on-one -on -one encounter. Physically, go. Take nothing. God can use anything. You remember what happened to uh, Moses? People started complaining, this water is very bitter, it's what and what. Moses just go and get a, a, a tree and throw it in the water. It was an instruction of the Holy Spirit. So God can use anything. It is not what you think about his work, but what he wants to do using you. Not you to use his word, but God to use you. So if you want to use the word of God, then you are mistaken. And the understanding of his word... You cannot understand it with this mind. It is the spirit of God who can make you to understand his word. Praise the Lord. So God can use anything. The shadow of the apostles. The anki of the apostles. The pool of Bethsaida. All those things. Why must you doubt his power today? Hmm? If Satan is using, you know, these imposters to fake the work of God, doesn't mean that God cannot use oil. No. If there are spirits that are claiming to be marine spirit using water, it doesn't mean that God cannot use his own water because of those evil spirits. No. As long as it is his will and his purpose, he will use anything that he wishes to. It is only you, believers, to understand this. Because where we are now in this world, there are so many platforms where we are standing to preach the word of God. Sometimes we mislead. If the spirit of God is not there. They anointed them with what? With oil. Okay. Thank you, my sister. They anointed them with what? Oil and heal the sick even today god can still use the same oil to heal you and deliver you so the spirit of god 
is here. The Spirit of God is here. Connect yourself to him. The giver of life, the one who controls the air, the one who controls water, the one who controls everything. Make no mistake. Jesus is our father. He is the healer. He, he can use oil. He can use water. He can use uh, even a hanky. And you can pray for hanky and give it to the sick person. As long as it is the spirit of God instructed you to do that, that person will be healed. If you are not, you know, led by the Holy Spirit, you start to say, no, takwaba. Aba magician yavano mbabala tupwa. We'll meet you there in heaven. Thank you. God bless you. Come on! Put your fist. Every situation must bow. Within my body. Within my house. Within my family, every new must bow, and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord.